Hey, welcome back to my channel so today i am going to explain you the step number four which is step number five which is the equipment uh, selection using toshiba software so let me open the software here so let us uh, close minimize all these things okay and uh, here you can also close this here is the Toshiba software so let me open this and here you can create the new project okay here is MMS2 pipe heat pump system okay now edit the indoor unit selection edit the property of outdoor unit edit the indoor unit so here you can see go to the layout and you can see this is the equipment so there will be branch one refnet and one cassette unit so you, here you have to place one refnet and here will be one cassette unit and one more refnet here three meter let's say the pipe length is three meter and here will be one first place the refnet so there will be four refnet okay here is let's say three the pipe length between this and previous component so three so how many refnet one two three and one more refnet is required so let us place here okay and here is three okay so four refnet is there then the, the indoor unit is one two three four five so four cassette one duct table so four cassette one duct table so let's say the first one so here you can see the cassette unit so just select this and here you have to select uh, from this equipment so as per uh, the load selection load calculation the required capacity is 7.9 kilowatt so you here you have to select the biggest the bigger one which is 8 8 kilowatt here available okay click okay now you have to required cooling capacity is 7 point 7.9 here will be 7.9 which is uh, not acceptable by software so you have to go for the higher one which is 9 kilowatt 7.9 required sensible cooling sensible cooling let's say 7 or 6.9 or 6.5 6 let's say 6 and uh, required heating so i don't want uh, heating capacity i want only cooling and here is the height difference uh, from the lowest outdoor unit so let's say the building is nine feet which is in meter nine divided by three point two eight which is two point seven let's say three meter 3 meter and pipe length between this and previous component let's say 3 ok next is your again copy this same here place it and as per the schedule the required cooling capacity is 6.1 kilowatt so go to this uh, here and you can change the unit 6.1 is required so you have to select the 8 and you have to update here 6.1 and let's say the sensible is 5 and click ok next is classroom 3 7.6 kilowatt so here is 7.6 so you have to select uh, change the unit which is uh, 9 7.6 let's say this is six and click ok 
here is 3 meter click ok here is also you can update 3 ok another one is let's say i am going to copy this one and uh, the classroom and uh, 3 and computer room is 8.9 kilowatt so computer room 8.9 kilowatt so you have to change the unit go for the 11 kilowatt here is you have to update the required total cooling capacity 8.9 kilowatt and sensible is 7 kilowatt and here the pipe length between this and previous component is 3 meter click ok and last and final is ductable unit so you can see here there will be ductable so ducted type here is the ducted high static so i want this ducted type which is the cooling capacity is required is 5.5 kilowatt so let us select here 7 kilowatt okay then required cooling capacity is 5.5 sensible let's say 4 and here is uh, let's say 3 meter and here is also 3 click ok so this is all uh, indoor is uh, placed and then you can double click here to change the outdoor unit so double click here and here you can see the auto select based model so i don't want uh, to select the manual i want auto select i want the software to be select for me uh, the outdoor unit so here double select the model okay and click okay so you can see here the indoor unit is uh, number of indoor is 5 which is uh, the maximum is uh, 27 you can connect capacity is 15.9 total pipe length is 25.6 and the maximum you can say 300 okay and then i want to generate the report here you can see the indoor unit is 80 hp 8 p 8 hp 2 number total is 16 hp okay so i want to generate the report i want to save this and also i want the pdf so export to pdf and here you can say the equipment selection with vrf software equipment selection vrf software okay so this i want to save it here okay save this click ok now i want to see this let me close this this one no need just uh, i want to save also sample project sample project school okay let's say 11 08 2024 i want to save in this okay now open this one and you can check here where is the VRF the equipment selection VRF software okay so let us open this and you can see this how it looks like this is the project indoor unit total 5 capacity is 15.9 kilowatt okay and here is your uh, the pipe sizing okay and so this uh, information we have to update this so here you can see the indoor unit selected is uh, go to this report and here is uh, the selected is uh, 9.7 kilowatt 9.7 kilowatt you have to update here 9.7 kilowatt and classroom 2 8.73 kilowatt 8.73 kilowatt classroom 3 which is 9.7 kilowatt 
9.7 kilowatt and the computer room computer room is 12.13 kilowatt Twelve kilowatt and the lobby so lobby is the ductable which is 7.76 kilowatt 7.76 kilowatt okay so this is the tonnage and this is the airflow is automatic calculated number of unit is one here is that indoor, indoor unit total is 13.68 and here is the model number so model number you can also update from here mmu ap03 0301h mmu ap0301 ap 0301 h 3.2 okay here is 3.2 okay next is 27 ap 0271h3 let us copy this here you can 020 71h3 okay 1 is 3 There is zero three zero one H three point two next is same so MMU here you can copy paste here MMU zero two seven zero two seven one AP zero two seven one H okay so this is the same and the computer room as well 36 h4 so here you can place here is 36 1 36 36 1 h4 36 1 h4 and the next uh, and the last is for the lobby so mmd ap024 here you can select paste it here mmd which is uh, ductable 0241bh 0241bh and the 2.5 h2.5 2.5 so this is your ductable okay so this is the cassette and this is the ductable unit Let's save this and total load is here you can see 13.6 total load in hp is here and total selected is you have to select the model which is a uh, here 17 point you have to select here 16 hp 888 8, 8, 8 hp2 number so here is 16 hp which is selected by software so 16 diversity is 1 so outdoor unit sub model is here mmy map mmy dash map map 080 080 1 ht 1 ht Eight state okay two numbers okay and then the sub model and the the final model is 
here 160116 so in place of 81601HT 1601HT8 1601HT8 so this is how the equipment is selected the pipe size is also given here you can see the pipe size is also given so i hope you guys learn this step so next step is uh, the fhu design and ducting layout then prepare the shop drawing for the duct so that will be done in the next uh, video so please be with me and keep watching my video so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye